let's talk about the updates to the Power BI Home in the Power BI Desktop. I'm Allison Gonzalez, I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Let's go dive into the Power BI Desktop and take a look at what the February 2024 updates have done to this view. Now, this is a little bit controversial here in the Pragmatic Words office. You either love it or hate it. So definitely let me know in the comments after this. Do you like it? Do you use it? What do you think? We all want to see. Maybe we should have a poll of some sort to see what you all think. But let's dive into the desktop and I'm going to show you, of course, what it looked like before and what it looks like after. Because, of course, this is now um, pushed out for everyone. So if you do a refresh, this is going to be turned on for you. So, of course, I'll also show you if you don't like it where you can go to turn it off. So let's go take a look. Before we get to the video, I just want to let you know, if you are interested in more in-depth Power BI training, head on over to prag.work slash Allison40, and that's going to give you 40% off an annual subscription to our on-demand learning platform, where you have access to hundreds of different classes. Now onto the video. So we are here in the Power BI desktop, and this is what it looks like when you open it up, right? You click on your Power BI icon, you click on a report, and this opens up. You have your blink report. You have everything you need to get started, right? If you need to open up an existing report, right? You're opening Power BI up and then you're going to go navigate to find an existing report. You would go to file and you have all of those lists right here. And you can, of course, browse this device down at the bottom here where you could find more things, right? Well, let's talk about what the new view, the Power BI home does instead. Now, to turn this on, again, this should be turned on now by default for everyone, but to go turn it on, you're going to go to File, and then you're going to go to Options and Settings and Options, which is going to get you to that preview menu because it still is in preview features, even though it is getting pushed out for everyone. So here, we're going to go down in our left menu. We're going to go to Preview Features. And over here in our preview features, we are going to go turn this one on Power BI Home in Desktop. So this is one that will require you to restart the Power BI Desktop when you hit OK. So I'm going to click to bring this in. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to restart the Power BI Desktop, and we're going to see this new home view show up, aka the first thing that you see when you launch the Power BI Desktop. And here it is. This is the new updated Power BI home view. So you can see that now instead of dropping you immediately into a new blank report, it brings you to this screen instead. So right up at the top, if you do need just a blank report, you're starting some new project, you're going to click that button right there. And that's going to take you into just a new Power BI report, just like the view we were in previously. But this view this new updated Power BI Home is definitely ideal for people who are not necessarily starting new reports constantly, more so opening up and working on existing reports. Because you can see that this view really prioritizes your recent work. So it makes it very easy to find, work on, and modify all of the things that you've been working on or that have been shared with you. So really, if you were trying to decide between keeping this new home view on, again, pretty much anything in preview features will eventually most likely become a permanent feature. So you could just start getting used to it and adapting to it now. Or if you want to hang on to the old view a little bit longer, you can also do that. But this view really is great if you are more of a uh, report modifier rather than a report creator. If you're a report creator, I definitely think it's easier. Hey, less clicks if you were just to start with that new blank old view rather than this one. But modifying it is really easy. Another change is your side placement, this navigation over here. So I can see my options and settings are down here at the bottom, which of course is where I would want to go if I want to revert this back to the old one. So now we can just go to options and settings, options, back over to preview features, and you can just go ahead and uncheck it right from there to pull this old view right back for you. So this isn't a major, major life-changing update, right? 
It's really just adding potentially an extra click or taking a click away, just depending on how often you're either starting a new report or modifying reports. That's really the decider between who this is gonna really be better for. But like most preview features, it will probably eventually become the norm. So if I were you, I'd probably start getting used to it now. But let me know in the comments below what you think. It's definitely, like I said, is a point of division in our office. We either love it or hate it. So let us know what you think. We would love to hear from you all below. Also, don't forget to like this video so you see more of Power BI content in your feed. And then definitely also subscribe to our channel. We put out about four videos a week all across the Power platform. And we would love to have you join us in learning that.